Hi there everyone. So I was sitting around today watching some um, videos and the type of video that I really get addicted to watching to and can literally spend hours watching are things like collection and storage videos. I just, I really like seeing how people store all their stuff and how they, you know, keep them and things like that. It got me thinking what I thought would be a different take today is to actually go into my bathroom and do a bathroom tour. And I have what I think is the world's smallest bathroom. So this is actually a good exercise in storage ideas for small bathrooms. So come on into the world's smallest bathroom. And when I first started on YouTube, my um, channel name was Teeny Bathroom Testimonials. And that's because you'll see in a second how small my bathroom is. So before I start, uh, this is just a cute little sign that um, a friend, my best friend Olivia got me for uh, Christmas and it's just like it's like a tin postcard and what I've done is I've used that blue um, uh, Sticky tack stuff that you use to hang posters on the wall without putting holes in your wall because it's like notoriously difficult to Hammer and nail into these hollow core doors. So uh, or actually that's solid corridor. Sorry So I've just got the like the sticky tack on all the four corners and it stays really well And it's really cute and those are all the colors that I have in the bedroom Which you can't see because I'm redecorating and I will have to do another video when I'm done that. Okay, oh, let there be light. Okay, so just to stand in the doorway to tell you, to let you see how small the bathroom is. And this is an ensuite, so this isn't like the main bathroom in the house. We have a half bath downstairs and we have a master bathroom that all the boys share, but this is my bathroom and mine alone. So there you go. See how small it is? Teeny tiny. But I've got a good mirror. I've got a good, oh great, one burnt out light bulb. And I have a huge window that you can see here. Okay, so come on into my bathroom. Um, these little over the door kind of racks are perfect for small spaces. And this one's great because it's got like a shelf unit in it and it's got all these hooks along here. So uh, right now I've got my bathrobes hanging on there and my cute little shower caps hanging on there. And then this little shelf I use for my um, face cloths. They're not very neat. I should have cleaned before you came over. <laughs> if I'd known you were going to drop by it so unexpectedly. But it's really great because you can hang towels on here, bathrobes, clothes. You can set out your clothes for the day, uh, anything like that. We actually went out and found these really great things. I have two of them in here. They're luggage racks for hotels, but we managed to get them at a grocery store here at Loblaws when Loblaws was carrying household items. So you can hang towels from here, and then it's got like a shelf on the top. So I use baskets on this one, and I'll, I'll get to that in a second. And we had another one over here. Sorry for making you dizzy. See, so this one, I don't put anything here. And I actually took a piece of our laminate flooring from the basement and put it across here to make a shelf so that I could use this for things that weren't big like baskets were. So let's start over here. So these are some storage ideas if you have a small bathroom. So really pretty shower curtain. Got this at a little hardware store here in town. Opens up to reveal the tiniest shower Ever. Look at, there's the front, there's the back. It's three feet by three feet. <clears throat> so, one storage solution is these great over the um, shower head storage racks are fantastic. Problem that I have with most of them is there's not enough room between the shelves to put tall bottles of shampoo and stuff like that. So, I managed to find this one that had really nice big shelves. And they were quite, there is enough height there that I can actually get some taller bottles in. But the tallest bottles um, stay up here. So, you know, I've got my shampoos here and I've got my body washes here. And there's a nice little rack here to put my um, razors and stuff. And then place to hold foot file and my sloughing sponge. Now, look what my sloughing sponge did to the bottom of my bathtub. That is not rust or anything. That is dye from dripping from my sponge. Not very happy. See, look at how small my shower is. So I don't have a lot of room in there to store stuff because I'm addicted to body washes and scrubs and things like that. So I've got this little marble table sitting outside the shower where I put, uh, I've got like a little glass pot with my razor blades in and then I put my, um, 
extra body washes and things like that so I can switch them out. Then up here, as I said, we've got this luggage rack. There's two baskets. In this basket, I keep all of ooh, my, um, there's my hair straightener, my hair dryer, curling iron, things like that. And then in this basket, this is where I keep my hair dye materials. So I've got a couple of hair dyes in there and my little pot and my comb. So then you're not taking up, I'm not taking up all the room in my vanity for that. Then over here, over the towel bar, I've got a little mirror because I find sometimes when I'm using the big mirror, the countertop gets in the way and you can't really get close up enough if you want to do like eyeliner and stuff like that. So I like to use this little mirror for that. Um, even though I've got a small bathroom, I put the biggest piece of art that I had in here. This has the colors that I love, um, this nice red I've kind of used to accent elsewhere in the bathroom, but I think it really makes a nice big impact and adds a lot of color to the room without having to put like color on the wall, so I really like having that there. And it's just an inexpensive painting on canvas. So it, it rinses off and everything. There's not like actual paint there. It's just a kind of a plasticky finish to it. <clears throat> it's always nice to have mirrors like bounce the light around and things like that. So I always have mirrors out. Um, this is just a square vase from the dollar store where I've got my toothbrush and my toothpaste and my, you know, teeth stuff. I like to have, I like the idea of putting photographs in the bathroom and uh, it's just, it's just nice. It's a little girly touch and um, that's just a picture of me and my mom when I was two, and I love these white frames, so really fun. Then, um, getting into the storage ideas, this is a box from Walmart, but you can get them anywhere. It's actually from the office supply department. It's all dusty. And it's supposed to hold CDs and things like that, but I use it for a first aid kit because it's divided, and it's got a little bit of height on it, so you can put things like this is, you know, an antibacterial spray and everything like that. So it doesn't scream first aid kit, and it's up out of the way so the kids can't get at it and use all of the band-aids. Moving down to on top of the toilet, where I've got, now I love to have baskets. I've got lots of baskets in the bathroom, but I wanted to add some more of that red. So this is just a um, cutlery holder, or actually that's probably, no, it's, I got it from the barbecue section at an organizing store and they were having everything like half price and then 30% off so I paid seven dollars for it. It's either for putting you know condiments in or, or napkins and cutlery and stuff like that when you're going out for a picnic and it's just a nice red tin and it's the same color as my painting. Mm -hmm, I know. Clever. But I love using these things for storing my um, beauty related products like facial cleansing and stuff like that. Everything's nice and neat and contained and it doesn't look too sloppy and keeps the vanity fairly empty. Okay then moving over to the vanity you can see it's not very big at all. Um, I don't like to have things out on the counter but if you have to doing a little metal tray like this this is again just from the dollar store. I love to have um, a clock in the bathroom so I know what time it is and when you wake up in the middle of the night to go pee you can look at the clock and go oh my god it's four o'clock in the morning. So I like to have that and this one's from Ikea and I liked it because it's clear lucite so it's giant, it just adds to the sparkle. This is a little gold um, and white cup that I got from Olivia for Christmas. That's my best friend. And I use that to store the pads that I use to take off my um, eye makeup at night and it's really handy to hold your tweezers. So these are the things that I use every night. This is my Skin Sonic. I like having it out so that it's within easy reach. And then these are my expansive facial products, so I like to have those out. I thought this was a really pretty container with my little capsules in it, so I like having that out. And I think it just looks cute. And this was just a plain um, unit, but what I did with, I took the stupid builder's handles off and I got these doorknobs at Anthropology. and I mean I paid like 20 bucks for each of them, but really really pretty. The only problem is they've got a really long screw that sticks up the back and I accidentally gouged my arm on it and you can still see the scar. Look at that scar. Bad 
danger in the bathroom. And this is where my other storage comes into play. So, as I said, love to have baskets. This basket here has got my magazines in. Look, the September fashion magazines are coming out. So exciting! But if you don't like to keep magazines in the bathroom, you can um, use this for keeping um, toilet rolls, extra toilet roll and stuff like that. So, really good tip. Baskets are great. But I have other things that I like to use too. For example, this is a metal cutlery tray that I got at Home Sense or something like that. And I've used it to organize all of my deodorants and my moisturizers. Instead of having everything just piled in one basket, it really divides everything up and just keeps everything nice and neat and tidy. These are individual um, shoebox drawers from Sterilite, I think. Let's see if it says on them. It doesn't say on them. Pretty sure those are from Sterilite. And you get those in the um, closet organizing section. I use mine to organize my feminine hygiene products. I take everything out of the box. And if with my tampons, I put them in these nice little trays. I just think it makes it look cuter. Makes you forget what you're there for. So those come in handy. Then I've got some more on this side. I've got a stack of three on this side. This holds just, you know... Um, these things are great. These are um, exfoliating facial puffs. Fantastic. Teeth whitening stuff. Some extra puffs. Extra things for my um, Clarisonic or my Skin Sonic. <clears throat> you know, just the flotsam and jetsam that collects in your bathroom. This drawer's got my brushes in it. And then this is where my little hair goodies little Aladdin's cave is and then up here sits my train case and my brush roll for when I travel underneath the sink is where all the products go that you know like your hair care products and things like that so it's it's nice to have different things to keep them organized that's why I've got the two little towers this thing's really great then down here I've got little baskets that I got at the Dollar Tree in the States but then I've got these little baskets to hold different items got my skin cleansers here like my big tub ones that you get from the drugstore that don't fit anywhere else this is a kind of I use moisturizing shampoo that I get from the dollar store just to clean my brushes because they've got the sulfates in them and they so they suds up really well and they clean your brushes really well and I think it was Lisa Eldridge that actually said like the cheaper somebody did anyway said the cheaper shampoo you get the better that they clean your brushes so I got mine with, um, this is just an Alberto one, um, mine's moisturizing so it conditions the brushes because sometimes I find the baby shampoo doesn't really clean them well enough so I get a good clean with those. What else is in here? See some more you know seasonal soaps, they gotta go somewhere. Mouthwash, um, nail polish remover that I don't like because I'm using a different brand. The Sally Hansen airbrush leg spray on tan and my bronzers that don't get used very often but you know you keep on them in case you do want to use them. Everything neat and tidy and then way in the back we've got cleaning supplies. And then we've got my hair care stuff. So I've got all my little bits and bobs. I collect these things from when I dye my hair from the natural instincts. I love this stuff. I use it as a daily conditioner. Oh, what else have we got back here? Just root booster, you know, things that don't work, things that do work. Everything's neat and tidy. Everything, a place for everything and everything in its place. And then I've got my hairsprays there. So there you go, guys. There's my bathroom. So that's my teeny bathroom and hopefully what was some big storage ideas. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.